Hey, how's it going guys? This is Steve, I'm from Steven Gaming TV and today I'm going to show you how to use the sprite editor and the animation editor inside of Clicked in Fusion 2.5. So let's go straight ahead and make a new project by clicking on the new project icon, double clicking on the thumbnail to make in order for us to go inside of the frame editor and now we are going to double click into our empty canvas and make a new active object. Remember an active object is a sprite, it can have animation and movement. So double click on the active object and we are being taken into the active object editor the, uh, the animation editor and the sprite editor whichever way you call it is fine as long as you know what I am talking about so go ahead and clear this out by clicking on the clear or control and icon on the top left this is your um, sprite editor and I am gonna teach you how to use this well actually it's pretty straightforward but for you to still call me master I still need to make a tutorial about it and keep teaching you so this on the left you have the new or the clear icon the import icon if you want to load an image file here you have the export if you made a really cool image and you wanted to export it to uh, something like a JPEG or a BMP or a uh, who uses PMP these days or a PNG that you want to show the world here you have the undo and the redo here you have cut copy and paste and delete here you have flip horizontally vertically here you have the crop tool for example I make something like this garbage right here and you you want to crop that you just crop that like that please don't forget that control Z exists and you use control Z to undo your changes here you have transparency which prompts you for alpha channel and something else but you don't really want to use that here is a slider that you, can, that you can use to change the zoom effect to change the zoom in factor of your sprite so right now you have this this is the selection tool if you want to select a portion of your image for example we are going to pick uh, a sprite that is only inside of this small portion of the image you can use a selection tool for that or if you have um, something like a large sprite and you want to delete only a small portion you can select that with the selection tool and delete it here you have the color picker tool for you to be able to pick a color that you want to draw in with or a much easier way is to hold shift and click on whatever color whichever color you want and you can just keep using it while using the brush tool this is the brush tool do I really need to explain this to you? you just use it to draw things and you can adjust the size the opacity which I don't really know for what reason that is there this is the line tool this is the square tool the polygon tool and the shape tool this is the fill tool you can fill things inside with this this is the spray tool better not mess with that the text tool I really don't know who would use such thing instead of making their custom sprites and the eraser tool you also have the size tool if you want to adjust the size the rotation tool if you want to rotate your stuff and keep in mind that rotating things will auto crop your image here we have the hot spot. The hot spot is the position of your stuff. So, so if you create something new, it's gonna create it from the hot spot. The action point, however, is where objects will spawn if you create a new object in relative to the position of your object. So if you have um uh, actually let's make a new one because I'm starting to hate this one. So if you have an active object and you wanted something you wanted it to shoot bullets, the action point is where the bullets will come out. Now that that is done, on the right you have a color palette. Here is where you select all of your colors and everything else that you know you already know. Here you can paste some HTML color codes, some RGB values, and here is a transparency uh, box. You click on this if you want to get a transparent color. Or you can right click if you want to put a color on the right click you can left click if you want to put a color assign a color on the left click so now this is starting to look like garbage we're gonna cancel this out and we're gonna come back inside of it so right here down here you have your frames an animation is made of many frames and here is the play button to preview your animation so if I added many frames and added some random stuff right here 
that you will never see in a real game you can see the animation plane that is too fast so if you want to uh, set up the animation speed you go to the direction options and you type in something like 10 and you're gonna play that back and you can see the animation there repeat and loop what does these mean this means how many times to repeat the animation we're gonna repeat it three times it's gonna repeat three times over there as you can see or you can loop the animation and it loops forever for and ever if you want the animation to only play from the beginning and then stop at frame 4 or keep playing at frame 4 you are going to uh, click on this back to text and click 4 then it's gonna get stuck on 4 if you want it to um, loop from 3 to 4 after it has been playing the animation from the beginning you are going to click on 3 and there you go it loops it loops back to 3 so now that you've got that covered speed repeat count or loop and back to I'm gonna teach you what this means this over here are the direction is the direction panel here is where you select which direction the player is facing so now this is the sprite for the player facing the right direction this should be the sprite sheet for the player I said sheet not shit um, looking down and this is for the player if he is looking right and if you want to add more directions you can just click on the slider down here this slider actually lets you have like um, 32 movements or something and I am willing to bet one penny that you are not gonna be able to fill all of this with animations I mean really over here on the left you have animations your animations list here is the normal stance when the player is stopped here is where when the player is walking here is when the player is running here is when he's appearing which means at the start of the frame uh, you know when the player does some cool pose disappearing when he dies bouncing I don't really know what that is actually it's when he, he bounces off the screen or something like that jump in etc if you want to make a custom animation you just go to new and enter the animation frame so you might wonder why not just make custom animations why are these all here it's because if you put animations inside of these pre-built stuff and you make uh, and you add a movement into your object for example a platform movement if you added some sprites into here into the walking and into the jumping climbing etc you do not have to assign events anymore that say if the player is walking change the animation to walking if the player is jumping change the animation to jumping it automatically does that for you so that's it for this tutorial i hope you liked it like it if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it subscribe if you want to i'm not gonna force you and stay tuned for the next set of tutorials thank you